going to show you how to download and install the Haze Process Macro for SPSS. And we're using version 29 of the SPSS. I was working with a student and she wanted to know if age was acting as a moderator between anxiety and wellness. So I went up to the analyze and I went to the regression and I realized, oh my gosh, I just got this version 29 of SPSS. And I did not install the Haze process yet. So personally, I think it should come with it because it's such a great process. But let's go ahead and do that. So to get the Haze process, you're going to go to this website. I'll put the link down there somewhere. This is the home page of the University of Calgary. So from the front page, you're going to go to the resource hub. From the resource hub, you're going to scroll down to download to process version 4.3 and it downloaded it for us okay so now we have it in our download file let me pull up my download file there it is i did it twice so we're just going to use once and we want the one for spss we're going to try the first way to put it in and it's a lot easier so we go up to this custom dialog and this is the process and if you click on it it should open up spss Mine is already open, so now it's going to ask me, do you want to install this? And I'm going to say yes, yes, yes. And there it is. It worked. Okay, that worked very, very fast. So I'm going to show you another way real quick. So if the first way didn't work, try this way. I'm going to move this file right here, this process.spd. I'm going to move it to a folder that I can find it easily. So I'm going to copy it. And where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it in my documents. I think I have a haze folder. I do. So I'm going to put it right in there and save it. Extensions, then utilities. We're going to install a custom dialog box. And from our documents, we're going to get that file that we just had here. Bam. And we're going to go ahead and put it in there. Now, when I click open, I might get an error message because I just installed it. So it might want to overwrite or something. But see, it'll just overwrite it, and that's how it works. So if the first one doesn't work, try it this way. It should work perfectly. All right, that's it. Good statisticating. All right, MGZ out.